Hello one and all, this is Nerdcraft here, bringing you game 2 out of 3 against Loner and Braddock here from BlizzCon. Uh, last game we saw Loner taking it with just really cost effective drops and uh, catching somewhat Braddock out of position. Um, and yeah, so this game Shattered Temple is going to be close air positions here. Braddock spawning in the southern position and Loner in the western position. Uh, not too sure what we're going to see here really. Uh, you know, close air position, it can mean uh, Banshee play, but at the same time, because of such a long rush distance for Marines, uh, some will feel inclined to go for an early expansion. So, as to whether um, Braddock or Loner feels inclined to go for that expansion, uh, who knows, really. I couldn't tell you well what's going to happen. I have no idea. Uh, but I can tell you this right now. Uh, supply depots are being built as well as SCVs. So... Yeah, we're um really uh getting out. Oh my God, they made those SCVs at the exact same time. Talk about timing. Okay, Barracks goes down first for Loner and then Braddock. So there is indeed a three-second lead on the Barracks. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, Loner is going to be able to get a Marine out three seconds faster, three Blizzard seconds faster, then Braddock, and that is not going to make a single difference in the game, I guarantee you. Uh, we are going to have to pay attention to the positioning, though. Uh, Braddock is going to go for a wall off here, and Loner not really too inclined about that. So this could mean some sneaky play from uh, Braddock. Loner does have his gas down right now. He's probably going to get a tech lab as soon as he can. Uh, maybe some sort of early stim push uh braddock you know just by his uh building placement i would think that he's gonna go for banshees or something like that but you know he doesn't even have a refinery up he might just be going gasless gasless expand um uh like he did in the last game uh as to what loner's gonna do i get the feeling loner's gonna do some sort of timing push just because of that refinery fully saturated and everything and he's gonna be able to make a tech lab like right now honestly after this marine comes out He's probably going to make a tech lab, and both the orbitals are finish and mule and mule. Just like that, I know things. I have seen things, not really. We do have an early factor here coming out for Loner. Uh, it's going to be scouted too, so I get the feeling Loner, he might be going for some sort of Hellion. And here we have Braddock going for that gasless, gasless expand. He does like him his expands. His expos, whatever you want to call them. I always seem to have a hard time pronouncing the word expand. I did a good that time, or expo. I don't know why. I just noticed that recently about myself that I like have a hard time with the expo. I don't know why. It's weird. I never really thought I had any sort of uh, speech impediment. Maybe I do. Who knows? Uh, of course, my only speech impediment is for having a just great voice. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to flatter myself that much. As we see, double refinery is now just finished, and a starport here coming up for loner. So don't know if this is going to be the infamous one 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 or just possibly a banshee opening. And there is a bunker coming out for Braddock. So I don't know if he's expecting Hellions at all. Uh, here comes the uh, comsat. I don't know if that expo was seen. Uh, it was seen. So that is actually huge for loner to see that and of course the the factory oh i thought it was just recently built but no it actually is about halfway done uh tech lab coming up on the factory so yes there is going to be a banshee expansion uh, as to what braddock sees he sees absolutely nothing he just knows there's a factory uh he doesn't even see this expansion coming up there's the first banshee of course but it's going to be really easy to repel I mean, there's going to be that supply depot there. If the Banshee's on auto attack, it'll attack that first. Warning Braddock about it. There's also a starport coming up here. Uh, and a tech lab on the factory. So I don't know if there's going to be like a later Banshee play from uh, Braddock. Of course, three Marines here. They are not going to see the expansion, actually. But uh, they do know it's there. And hmm. Don't know if he's going to try and catch him out of place by just poking with these three marines, thinking, oh, the attack's coming from the front, when really there's two banshees. But of course, this SCV from Braddock, uh, t how did that get in there? He sees it all, he knows all. Don't even know if Loner noticed that. But here comes the banshee right now. Uh, there's plenty of marines ready for it. That's going to be 
that's not even going to do anything. There's also Viking coming out too. So, uh, yes, actually I was right. He's going to push forward. Takes out one Marine with that Banshee. At least she can say she has a kill. Uh, the Siege Tank here ready. There is no Siege Tech though. So, two more Barracks coming out as well. That Viking's going to come out. and just going to have fun with the Banshee. It's going to be like, mm, I eat Banshees for breakfast. Because that's what Vikings eat for breakfast. They eat Banshees and Colossus for breakfast. As well as Overlords. Sometimes Broodlords. That's only like a really... That's like a Breakfast of Champions kind of thing. When you get steak and eggs for breakfast. Uh, that, that for a Viking is a Broodlord. And as you can see, the Tech Lab has now been moved over onto the factory. So we're going to go back into that Marine Tank style. Of course, Braddock technically has Air Supremacy with a single Viking. Uh, you sure... Um, the loner has a banshee, which actually I think died. Uh, I'm trying to find this banshee. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. I'm gonna assume it's dead because uh, I see absolutely nothing else. Braddock is gonna wait for that siege tech to finish. It's gonna be really. It's gonna be very close there. Really close. That's weird. Um, as soon as that finishes, though, two tanks actually. He's and he has sight with those Vikings. No stim out from from Braddock, but he's gonna be able to do some crazy damage getting the vision up there there's the siege right now just finished i don't know if braddock knows about this expo yes he does i'm uh, gonna try and take out that uh that tech lab that's gonna be huge it's not researching anything because i believe the stim is done for nope the stim is not done for loner <laughs> viking gonna try to pick off a barracks oh that's cool watch the missiles go down uh viking on viking action here viking's gonna try to get the viking into the uh marines so the marines can shoot down the viking there you go I said Viking a lot, but hey, Vikings are cool. Not not the like, not this. This is just like a little transforming jet, which yeah, I suppose is pretty cool. But I'm talking like a Viking, like the beards and axes and ships and everything. Uh, I'm getting a little off on a tangent here. Back to the game. Of course, these Marines are going to try and take the ramp, but you know, because of those siege tanks, they're not really going to be doing much. And it's great um, spread from Braddock here. Going to try and pick off this uh, reactor. Oh, these Marines are going to die. They need to get back into the siege tank. See, this is very nice that Braddock has set up here. He's, he can just poke at these and then just fall back into the Siege Tech fire and take out as much. Ooh, SCV's coming in. Try, gonna try and take out the uh, Vikings. Oops, a little small spasm there. And they clean up all of the tanks. But, of course, as we can see that there's 12 workers that Braddock has killed. He also lost a Tech Lab. Um, he lost a Tech Lab on the uh, one of the... Uh, on one of the barracks and actually he did stop that stim so uh, I'd say fairly effective uh, that was actually a very effective uh, push and now he's gonna go for gold because that is what Braddock does as you can see getting his third going uh, this is gonna put Loner behind it because Loner he now needs to just get his defense back up he needs to get more tanks he needs to of course get reactors or more tech labs uh, before he can expand of course Braddock he, he you know he remade an entire army while he was attacking and uh, he's going to expand as a result. He even has those medipacks up. This SCV, the sole survivor of that push. Sorry, my mouse is going a little haywire right now. Not really, just me and my hand is going haywire. Second factory here coming up from Braddock. And just medivac, medivac, medivac coming out. Uh, as you can see, this Viking is going to get the full scout. Uh, can't really pick off anything. Well, it could go for that starboard if it wanted to. Which would be pretty funny, I think. This is actually a really cool SimCity coming from Braddock. He's going to prevent really... Uh, he's going to really be able to channel the Marines to go in here or here if it pushes up. Of course, he's going to have it really nice and open for any drops over here. But, oh, actually... Oh, this is actually really clever. Okay, most of you guys will be thinking yeah, that's just the way he has his buildings placed. But this is very interesting. He can drop right here. Uh, loner. He can drop right here and it'll be seen right away. He can try to get close to the uh, SCVs, but he's going to take some damage from either of these, and we can see Braddock is going for a drop as well, so it's really cool SimCity coming out from Braddock. I actually never really thought of that, thought of it that much. Same with these. Uh, Loner would be able to raise these and stop any sort of drop. Of course here, a drop is going to come right into the mineral line. Going to be reaction ex actually right away. Going to get some SCV kills, but not too much. That stim is done. And actually, he's getting quite a bit of SCV kills. Bringing it up to uh, 22, he got uh, 7 kills that time. So, yeah. And uh, there's the GG from Loner. He's not even going to try. He knows he's way too behind. And, of course, look at that. There was that 
push there at the same time from Loner, and he lost weight. Sorry, he lost way too much stuff. Uh, and Braddock was just in a I say Braddock just completely outplayed Loner. Anyway, stick around for game number three. It is going to be epic, I assure you. Uh, I'll see you guys next game.